Hello, welcome in everybody. This is Chris from Curves, and I want to say happy National Senior Health and Fitness Day. Today is a day to celebrate our seniors, all those 55 plus, and recognize you for being proactive with your health and your fitness, especially being here with me today. You're taking time out of your day to focus on your body as well as your mind by exercising. So again, happy National Senior Health and Fitness Day. And all day through my Facebook page, we'll be having postings, uh, messages from our coaches, as well as helpful information on nutrition and some great photos of our members as well. So make sure you have everything that you need for your workout today. So you'll spend the next 30 minutes with me and we're gonna be doing an energy boost workout. And so this is a workout mainly to strengthen and stretch those muscles, a little bit of balance as well. So let's go ahead and let me update something real quick. Bear with me. Okay, so let's go ahead and just warm it up. Again, if you need your water and your towel, make sure that you um, are letting me know that you're here on your workout today. So we're gonna start with a front lunge. And we're gonna have your arms up like this, like if you're holding weights, and you're gonna push forward and pull back. Push forward and pull back. This is basically a chest press. So if I do it from the side, my front knee is bent, and I'm taking those elbows and I'm squeezing them back. So again, if you're just joining me, happy National um, Senior Fitness Day. Couple more here, push and pull, Squeezing those shoulder blades back and together. Let's go ahead and reverse legs. So that left leg is bent. Push, pull, push, and pull. Make sure you're keeping that stomach held in nice and strong. That back leg is nice and straight. Squeezing those elbows back. All right, so let's go into a warrior. So you're gonna step forward with that right foot. This knee is bent. You're gonna bring your arms up over your head and you're gonna lunge down into this position. So your right front leg is bent. Your left leg is straight. Your heel is grounded into the floor and you're just reaching up towards the sky. This is stretching your shoulders, your back, and those legs too. So keep holding this position. A couple more seconds, then we'll switch. All right, let's go ahead and switch your stance. So left leg is now bent, right leg is straight. Bring those arms up over your head. And if you can, get a little deeper into this lunge. This is your warrior position. And your biceps should be by your ears, arms are straight. Now if you have um, some shoulder issues, you can keep your hands right here at heart center. That will work fine too. All right, let's move into our frog. So into a wide stance, you're going to place your hands on the ground. You're gonna bend or lower your bum down as you look straight ahead. Then you're gonna raise your hips up as you look down. So lower and raise, lower and raise. Now right now, if you're not able to quite touch the floor, you can put your hands on your thighs. Same thing, lower, raise up lower and raise up. But we're gonna stay right here if you're more flexible. So as your bum comes up, you should be looking at the floor. As you lower it, you look straight ahead. Chest is up. Getting that bum nice and low. We're strengthening those legs. You got this. Happy Wednesday workout. We're celebrating the older generation today. All right, last one here. So now we're gonna go down to the floor and we're gonna do a, a crunch. Now, if you're not gonna be on the floor, then you're just gonna stand up, you're gonna bend over, crunch, come back up. That'll be your modification. Otherwise, we're down on the floor, legs are bent, hands behind those ears, and you're gonna crunch up and lower down. Crunch up and lower down. Just like this, we're targeting those abs, those stomach muscles, even that lower back too. So bring those shoulders up off the floor, 
as you raise up and lower. Raise up and lower. We're crunching those abs. Feeling good down your legs, or if you're standing up, make sure you're still breathing. Keeping that core held in nice and strong, and just avoid pulling on your neck. All right, last one here, and we're gonna come up, and we're gonna do a lunge with a core rotation. So, we're gonna start with your right leg. Take a nice, big step out. That back heel is lifted. You want your arms straight out in front of you. Now twist your whole body to the right. So we're really strengthening our core here. That includes your waist, your abdominals, the lower back. This is a sensitive area. And I just want you to stay nice and deep in this lunge. Keeping this front knee bent. Don't want to come up out of this position. If lifting your heel off the floor causes you to uh, kind of teeter-totter, you can hold on to a chair if you need to or something stable beside you. Let's go ahead and switch. So now my left leg is bent. My right leg is straight with a heel lifted. Arms are straight out in front of you. Twist to your left and hold it. Stretching out that waist. Again, you should feel it through your lower back. And you wanna make sure that you're looking to where your fingers are pointing, okay? Making sure you're still breathing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Good job, good morning, Irene. Good to have you here with us today. You're almost done, a couple more holds. Keep it here. All right, let's shake it out. So now we're gonna do a warrior two. So right leg out to the side. This leg is bent, this leg is straight, the foot is at a 45 degree angle and then your arms are straight out. So you should be able to draw a straight line from this fingertip to this fingertip. So arms are nice and high with the shoulder. Good. And you just keep this knee as bent as you can. If you can get a little deeper into it, go for it. You should feel this, those inner thighs, those quadricep muscles. Don't let those arms drop. Now we're just gonna shift our feet and we're gonna to go to the other side. So my right foot is pointed out at a 45 degree angle. My left knee is into that big, big deep lunge. There you go. Don't let those arms drop. But again, if you have problems with your shoulders, you can keep your hands here at heart center. That will be okay too. All right, you're doing a wonderful job. You're almost there. Keep holding it. Looks like Frida's in with me this morning. Good morning, Frida. All right, shake out that leg. So now we're gonna go into a side plank. Now I've got my chair here. If you have a wall by you, you can do a side plank from there. So let me show you that first. We're gonna do our right side. You're gonna put your right arm on the chair, your feet are stacked, and one arm is straight up in the air and you're holding this position, just like this. Again, it can be done from the wall, it can be done from your chair, but we're gonna do it on the floor. So, I'm gonna put my right wrist right under my shoulder. I'm gonna bring both feet up, and then left arm is straight up in the air. So my whole body is being supported by my right arm. So this takes a lot of good shoulder strength, core strength as well. And if you're not there yet, you can drop a knee. So if you're able to get down to the floor, but not hold the full side plank, you can drop that bottom knee to the ground. But otherwise, keep it held. Don't let those hips sink down to the floor. Make sure that left hand is right over your left shoulder. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. So if you're doing it from the chair, now we're gonna do the left side. I'm gonna turn and we'll do this way. Left wrist right under your left shoulder. Stack those feet, right arm is up in the air. You should have a nice straight line from one hand to the other. Don't let those hips sink, don't keep them here. You wanna lift them. This is gonna strengthen that waist and that lower back. You can do it just like this. Keep holding. Of course, remembering to breathe. Right, a few more seconds here. Your arms might be starting to 
wiggle. That's okay. Those are just those muscles working overtime for you. All right, let's go ahead and relax. Let's come back up and we're gonna go into a warrior squat. So, feet are in like a sumo squat position. Knees are nice and bent, palms right in front of you, and now I want you to have a seat. Lower, this is actually a goddess squat, excuse me, not a warrior, goddess squat. So one thing to look for here is you shouldn't be leaning forward. You want your shoulders back straight. So if I did it from the side, I'm not here, I'm here. So I have a good alignment between my shoulders and my hips. My knees are right over the ankle. They're not in front of my toes. So check that form real quick because that's important. But don't come up. Stay nice and low. This is our goddess squat. We gotta stay here for a little while. Doing a great job. Those knees, legs might start to burn a few, but that's just telling you it's working. And of course, if you can't get down this low, then maybe you're right about here. Take it at your level, what you feel that you can do, but still get a challenge from. A couple more seconds. All right, let's go into that three-legged down dog. So first I'll show you using the chair. Again, you can use a wall too. So both hands are on the chair and I'm going to raise my right leg as I shift my hips back. So my right leg is lifted as I'm holding onto my chair. So down on the floor, come join me. Wrists are right under your shoulders. Check for that alignment. You're in like a V to start with. Now raise your right leg and hold it here. This leg should be nice and straight. Heel pointed towards that ceiling. Your other leg's nice and straight as well and you're pushing your body away from the floor. Pushing those hips back. How's everybody doing? All right, a few more, and then we're gonna switch legs. You can do this, keep holding it. All right, let's go ahead, set that right foot down, left foot is up, push that body back. This is your three-legged down dog. Heels driving up towards that ceiling. You should feel this strengthening the back of your thighs, your glute muscles, your shoulders, a little bit of everything. Keep pushing away. You can do this. Excellent job. And then we're going to be going right down to the floor. We need to target our waist. Couple more seconds here, and let's go down to the floor. So we're gonna target our stomach and our waist. So you're gonna bend your knees. Pretend you have that beach ball right in front of you, and we're going to twist our body from side to side. Now, if you're standing up, you're simply gonna do the same thing. You're gonna be in like a little squat position, and you're gonna turn that body from side to side. The same thing, whether you're standing or down here on the floor with me. Now, right now I'm having my feet lifted off the floor. If this is too much of a challenge, you can bring your feet and ground them into the mat. But still twist side to side. We're getting those obliques stronger. We're getting those abdominals stronger. Even the legs, the legs gotta work too. You gotta, they gotta hold you up. All right, keep twisting side to side, right to left, right to left. You did an awesome job. We only have a few more here. You can do it. And then we'll stand right back up. All right, let's come back up. And we're gonna go into a side triangle to the right. So both legs are straight. My feet are pointed out to the side. My left arm is up in the air. My right arm is gonna come straight down this right leg and I'm gonna hold it here. So for me, I'm touching the floor, but maybe you're reaching for your ankle. You could be at your shin or you might be right here at your knee. Any of those work. So whatever 
wherever your flexibility is, that's where you want to go. But you don't want to compromise your form just so you can touch the floor. So what I mean by that, if you're leaning forward so you can touch the floor, that doesn't work. You want to have a nice straight alignment. So if I do it from this side. So don't compromise your form just to say, oh, I touched the floor. All right, so let's stay here. But I do want you to look. If you can, turn your head up towards those fingertips. So that way you get a good stretch in your neck. If you can't, that's okay too. We're gonna hold it here a few more seconds and we're gonna switch to the other side. This is a good strengthening of your hamstrings and those glutes. All right, let's come up nice and slow so you don't get dizzy. Let's go to the other side. Left side triangle. My right arm is stacked right over my shoulder. My left fingertips are touching the floor, but again, maybe right now you're at your ankle, your shin, or right above your knee. Do what's gonna work for you. And hey, maybe you started all this at your shin, at your knee, and now you can go down your shin. That's fantastic. That means you improved your flexibility. All right, almost done here. And then we're gonna go back to that warrior one. All right, so let's come up nice and slow, nice and easy. So actually we're gonna go into our chest press. So you're gonna bend your right knee. My left foot is grounded into the earth. If you have weights or not, you can push away pull back, push and pull back. We're strengthening and stretching your upper back, specifically your pectoral muscles, those are your chest muscles, your rhomboids, those are your back muscles. Those large muscles are in charge of all your heavy lifting and pushing and pulling. So pull back, squeeze, push out, pull, squeeze, push out. Let's go ahead and switch legs. This time we're gonna change the direction of our arms. We're gonna do an upright row. So this time pull back, push forward. Pull back, push forward. Again, weights, no weights. Doesn't really matter. You could have uh, some frozen water bottles too if you want a little bit more resistance. You got this, pull it back, push it forward. Pull it back, push it forward. And I want you to maintain a nice straight back. You don't want to be leaning too far over. Keeping your stomach muscles held in nice and tight. All right, let's go into that warrior. So again, front knee is bent. My left foot now is at a little bit of an angle and I'm gonna bring my arms up overhead and hold it. Now I want to get a little deeper into that lunge. So if you can, get a little deeper. But if your knees are saying, uh, no, not today, that's not happening, that's okay, back, back off a little bit. And if your shoulders are starting to bother you, bring your hands here on your hips, or you can bring them here at your heart center, that's okay too. But if you want a little bit more of a workout, keep them high, keep them lifted. Don't let those knee come up out of that lunge. We're only here for a few more seconds. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and switch legs. Left leg is bent. My right foot is turned out at a 45 degree angle. Arms up. And those biceps should be nice and lined up with your ears. Now, take a little bit deeper lunge in with that front leg. You got this, good job. Always remembering that you're breathing in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Checking to see if your stomach's engaged, nice and strong, belly button to spine. And again, if you're just joining me, today is National Senior Health and Fitness Day. So I'm celebrating all of our senior ladies and gentlemen today. I'm glad you're here with me. All right, so let's go ahead and do our goddess squat. So get into that nice, deep, uh, it's basically a sumo stance. Palms are right here at heart center. Now from here, go ahead and get lower. A goddess squat, we get low, we're not up high. And I want you to press those palms together so that way you're activating those biceps, the shoulders, and the chest. And then take a moment, look at those knees. They should be right over your ankles. 
and you should not be leaning forward, back and straight. Good job, keep holding this move. This is a great thigh burner. We're getting those legs ready for our Mount Luba to walk tonight at six o'clock, so hopefully everybody out there is gonna come join me. We're gonna meet at the Ryan Bonamino Park in covered tables by the baseball field. So six o'clock, we can either walk the park or Mount Rubido, but we're leaving right at six o'clock. All right, a few more, hold it here. Don't come up out of it. You can do this. And all right, shake out those legs. So now we're gonna work on that core rotation. Take that right leg, step it out. This time your left heel can be lifted. My right knee is bent. Arms are straight out. Now turn and twist to your right. And I want you to hold this position as long as you can. Twist that upper body and waist as far to the right as you can. If you start to feel a little unbalanced, feel free to hold onto a stable chair or countertop if you've got that nearby. This is good for strengthening your waist, your lower back. You can get a little deeper in that knee bend. There you go. Push yourself, don't get sloppy on me. All right, let's switch legs. Now my left leg is bent. My right heel is lifted off the floor. Arms are straight out in front of me. Twist to your left. And hold it. All right, let's see if you can get a little deeper. There you go. That's what you get. Keep stretching. If it bothers your arms or they get tired, you can bring them down on your hips, but keep that rotation of the core. Just sometimes doing these static moves where we're just holding it and we're not doing like jumping or bouncing, they're just as effective as the other one. Keep holding it here, you're almost there. And then we're gonna go into that side plank. And you know, anytime you need to grab some water or a towel, feel free to do that. All right, let's come up out of that. So we'll go right into side plank. As a reminder, you can use a chair or the wall. You're gonna put your right arm, right hand on the chair, stack your feet, left arm goes up in the air. We're gonna go right to the floor. Right wrist underneath that right shoulder, feet are stacked, or they can be staggered, it's your choice. And left arm is up in the air. There you go, fantastic. You feel good strengthening in your shoulders over your deltoid muscles. If you need to let that right knee stay on the ground to get you through it, then go there. That's fine. Otherwise, let's stay up. Check your form. If you can, look up at your left fingertips and keep your gaze up there. If not, you can look straight ahead as well. Don't let those hips drop. We're almost there. And then we'll switch sides. All right, let's switch it. So if you're using the chair or wall, left side, and we'll switch over to your left. So check that form first. Make sure your wrist is right under your shoulder. Pop up onto your feet. And right arm now is straight up in the air. And you wanna keep the belly button pulled in towards your spine. That'll keep you a little bit more stable. You can look up at those right fingertips. Keep your gaze up towards the ceiling. And don't let those hips drop, so don't let them sag. Check yourself, bring them back up. If they started to drop, bring them back up. I know this is challenging, but that's the whole point. We're strengthening your obliques right now, your shoulders. Keep holding it. Remember, stationary movements are just as effective. A few more here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, release the pose. Let's come back up to warrior two. So you're gonna bring your right knee. It's nice and bent. My left leg is straight with my foot at a 45 and I'm gonna bring my arms out, straight out to the side. And I'm gonna to look towards my right hand. So look towards that right 
fingertip. Take a moment, check your knees. Maybe you can go a little deeper. That would be fantastic. If not, that's okay. This is strengthening your glutes and those legs. Don't let your arms drop. Don't let them, don't start to fall down like this. Keep them up. Of course, you know, if you've got the shoulder issues, then by all means, please. <laughs> a few more seconds here, and then we're gonna make that small transition to the left side. Keep looking. Don't let that right knee come up just yet. All right, so let's go ahead and switch the feet. Arms stay up. Bend that left leg, get low into it. Now look at your left fingertip. Arms are nice and straight. They should be shoulder level. I can't, you know, um, mention enough how important your body alignment is. That's what targets the muscles properly and gives you the most effective workout. Also reduce your risk of injury too. So again, keeping those arms up. If you feel them starting to lower, bring them up. <laughs> Don't let them drop. If you feel you start to come up out of your lunge, get back into it. It's okay to take a small break, but get right back into it. All right, you're doing awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go right into a side triangle. So left arm up in the air, right arm, legs are staying the same, feet are pointed out. We're going right down that right side. Excellent. Now this time, you may be able to go a little further down. Your muscles are nice and warmed up. So they're giving you the green light to go a little further, a little deeper. If not, go right where you were before. Check that alignment of your arm. You want to pretty much have a straight line from one fingertip to the other fingertip. All right, let's slowly come up so you don't get dizzy. And let's go to the other side. All right, good. Side triangle to your left. Legs are straight. Your feet are pointed out at a 45 degree angle. One arm is stacked right over your shoulders. If you can, look and stay looking up at your right fingertips. If that's too much for you, that's okay. Just look straight ahead. But you can see me doing a wonderful job. After this, we're getting down on the floor. We need to work that stomach. A couple more seconds and relax. So before I get down there, for those of you that aren't going to join me on the floor, you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. You'll do a good morning. Arms out to the side and you're going to hinge forward at the hips and you're going to hold it here. This is for my standing group, for my on the floor group, we're crunching it, but we're gonna do a little bit different. So, you're gonna have your legs lifted about a 45 degree angle, and we're gonna crunch. We're gonna crunch. So hands are lightly behind your ears or your head, and we're keeping our legs lifted as we crunch. Adding a little new dynamic, our stomach and core has got to work a little bit harder here. Lift those shoulders up off the floor and back down. Back up and back down. Good job. Anytime you need to drop your feet and catch a break, that's okay too. I'm going to be here for a few more seconds. Stay with me. Make sure you're still breathing. Last three. Last two. Last one. Awesome. All right. That stomach's feeling really good right now. All right. Excellent job. So let's go ahead and do a balance move. This is a tree pose. So we're going to first start on our right leg. You can start with your toes on the floor. I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. You can then bring them to your calf. You can bring them toward your knee, or if you're really flexible, the inner thigh. And then again, hands can be on your hips. They can be out to the side. They can be over your head, or right here at heart center. So find what works for you. 
Again, if you need the chair by you for that stability, that is okay. But just see how long you're able to hold this position before you have to reset. Again, this is a great balance exercise. We're also strengthening these legs. Keep that core muscle held in nice and strong and tight. Doing a wonderful job. A couple more seconds here, and then we're going to switch sides. All right, go ahead and release that leg. Shake it out. Now let's do the other side. So again, if you need to hold on to something, feel free. We're going to start here on the floor. Then you can bring it up to your calf, maybe to your knee. And then if you really want, bring it right to the inner thigh. Leg is pointed out to the side. And wherever your arms need to be to help you balance, then that's where they need to be. I'm just gonna keep mine out to the side. And it helps too if you've got something to focus on in the room. So a non-moving object just to keep your attention there. And you wanna keep your stomach muscles held in. Find yourself sucking them in. That's gonna help your balance too. You can do this. All right, a few more here, second. And then we're gonna go into our frog. And then we probably should be wrapping it up. Your National Senior Health and Fitness Workout. All right, let's go ahead and release that leg, shake it out. So we're gonna go into this, the frog. This is the part where you open those wide, uh, those legs up nice and wide. You're going to touch the floor. My butt is down, I'm looking straight ahead. Now I'm gonna lift it, but look down on the floor. And then I'm gonna repeat. So lift and lower the bum. Keeping those feet turned out at a 45 degree angle. Getting low and then coming up. If I do it from the side, just so you can kind of see. So I'm in a low squat, then I come up, low squat, and I come up. And if you're not able to touch the floor, maybe you just have your hands right on your knees, that's okay too. So again, I'll go back to the front, down and up, down and up. This is great. For strengthening those legs. Good squats. A few more here. Keep it going. Get that bum as low as you can. And then right back up. Excellent. Alright. You should feel it through those legs. I know I can. That means it's working. Five more here. That's five. We got four, three, two, and one. All right, let's slowly come up. Great job, everybody. That was our energy boost workout for Wednesday. So let's finish with some stretches, and that will be part of our cool down to bring our heart rate down, um, cool off those muscles. So let's go ahead. Open those feet nice and wide. We're gonna do a side lunge. So we're gonna lunge to one side. Hands either on the floor, they can be right here on your knees. Find your flexibility. Oh, it looks like Andrea's with me this morning. Welcome, Andrea. I hope your mom's here too. We're celebrating her. Now lunge to the side. Excellent. Legs should be nice and straight. Keep that chest up if you're not all the way down here. Now go ahead and stand back up. We're gonna walk those feet together and we're going to do a forward fold. So we're gonna take a big inhale up. On our exhale, we're gonna hinge forward at the hips. Fold forward, try to reach for the ground or maybe you're at your ankle or behind your calves, wherever it is, Pull your body down, your chest down towards those legs. This is stretching the hamstring muscles right back here. All right, slowly roll yourself up just halfway, bend those knees. Hands will be right above those knees and then we're gonna do circles. 
So we're circling to one direction. Open up those hips, stretch out those hips. Now let's go the other direction. We had our hip and waist workout on Monday, in case you weren't there for it. But hey, all these workouts get recorded. So if you can't make us for live, then you can always go back to our page and review the recorded workout. All right, so we want to open up those hips a little more, do a little more balance. You're going to bring one foot across and then out to the side. One foot across, out to the side. Now you can tap your foot both directions if you need assistance with balance. Otherwise, try not to let the foot touch the floor. This is stretching out our hip flexors. Those muscles get pretty tight, so we need to really open them up. Now let's start to the other side. And of course, you can keep your hands on your hips. They don't have to be out to the side, but this is good balance. So wherever your arms need to be to keep you more balanced, that's where you should be. Again, open wide, cross over, open wide, cross over. That's the job. All right, so let's go ahead and bring your left knee up. So find your balance and then bring it tight into your chest. Give yourself a big old hug. We're stretching out those glutes, your quadricep muscle, while incorporating some balance. So it's good. You know, we try to incorporate different things. So even though we're in our cool down, it doesn't mean we can't practice on other areas. Now let's switch sides. Bring that right knee right into your chest. Good, hold, hold, hold. And of course, if you need to hold onto the chair, that's okay. Just bring that knee in nice and snug to your body. Stretching out those thighs, those hips, and glutes. All right, good job. Okay, so now we're gonna stretch out some upper body, and it looks like Laura. Good morning, Laura. Welcome to National Senior Health and Fitness Workout. You're gonna interlock your fingers, you're gonna push them out in front of you, and we're gonna do a side or uh, front lunge. So, my left leg is bent, my right leg is straight with the heel up, and I'm pushing outward. So we're getting two in one. We're stretching legs, upper body, and arms. So I guess that's three in one. Lower body and upper body. So push away, elongating the muscles in those arms, stretching out those legs. Now put that heel down. So this new dynamic, you should feel a good stretch in the calf and that hamstring. So keep it planted there. All right, let's go ahead and switch. So now my right leg is bent, left leg is straight. Right now heel is up, but this time my arms are behind me. And I'm stretching out the chest, the shoulders and the biceps. I have my fingers interlocked. Maybe you're not um, there yet, so go ahead and just bring your hands as close to, you, to your hands as you can. Keep that chest up. Now take that left heel, plant it into the ground. So now we're stretching more calf and hamstring. You got this, you're almost there. You're in the home stretch now. All right, okay, so release the hands. Let's come up out of that. Grab one wrist, arms up over your head, and bend and stretch to the side. Arms are nice and straight, reaching up towards the ceiling. This is stretching out our oblique muscles, the sides. Legs are straight. Now let's switch. There you go, stretching out. Awesome, this is the best part of the stretching. You know you've made and survived the workout. This was our energy boost workout today, so hopefully it gave you that boost energy you need for the rest of the day. All right, so we're gonna stretch out that neck. You're gonna grab one side of your head, just gently pull it down. The other arm is straight out to the side. Keep your belly button pulled in towards that spine so that muscles in your stomach's being engaged the whole time. Now, Turn your neck to the other side. Gentle pull, left arms out to your side. Just like this. 
And now let's gently pull the head down, chin towards your chest. And we're just gonna take a couple deep breaths. So big inhale, we're gonna squat, lower, sweep the floor for exhale. Last inhale here, last exhale there. All right, virtual high fives everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on this National Senior Health and Fitness Day. This workout is for you. It's for all my 65 plus. Um, it's just a number, but uh, I want to commend you for taking the time out of your day to be active, to think and care about your body because walking is great, but it's not enough. You need your strength training. You need workouts like this to help make your bones stronger, your heart stronger, and more flexible. So if you haven't already, please write in the comments below that you were with me on my workout today. And then again, later today, 6 p.m., for all of you in Riverside, at Ryan Bonamino Park, we're going to meet at the picnic tables by the baseball fields, and we're going to either walk the park, nice, easy walk around the park, or now that Mount Rubido is open, we're going to head up the mountain. So it's, it's your choice, but we're going to walk at 6 o'clock sharp. So if you're going to join me, I'll be there. And I want to thank all of you for joining me today. I'll see everybody again Friday morning at 9 a.m. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care.